As soon as I said in the name of Jesus, the baby jumps and comes alive inside her womb. He does a youth conference every year in Kenya. And they brought in like 1,500 kids to this place. We had praise and worship, and we taught those young people from 8 o'clock that morning until sometimes we didn't get back to 11.30 at night to our place where we were staying, teaching. And we saw, I saw hundreds, the Holy Spirit, setting people free by the power of God. Because we give, we would have people, who wants to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit? And they'd be people, raise their hands, and, and we'd pray over them, and they'd start praying in tongues. And then demons would start manifesting. God's, the Holy Spirit just would start delivering people, casting devils. It is phenomenal when you see the Holy Spirit just do, that move on the whole congregation, that 1,500 people and people being set free uh, from demon spirits is absolutely phenomenal. And people getting healed, uh, Muslims getting, uh, con converting into Christianity. It was, it was absolutely awesome. We always pray for the sick. How many here needs healing in their body? So we had some people come up front. And so we started laying hands on us and speaking health, healing, and holding us to them. And we got to the last one, and it was a lady. And she, I said, what do you need prayer for? And my interpreter asked her, and she says, you want prayer for her baby? Now that she was being carrying this baby for 10 months. And she said the baby hadn't moved in two weeks. And so she went to the doctor, and they, the doctors did an ultrasound, and they found out through the ultrasound that the umbilical cord was wrapped around the baby's neck and that he had suffocated and died. So she had a dead baby inside of her, and the doctors wanted to extract the baby out, and she wouldn't let him. And she said, no, I'm believing God for a miracle. Even, even, even her husband was not a believer, and he, was, he got to where he was starting to beat her to get her to get rid of the dead baby out of her body. And she come to church the day we were there, and she was the last one in that prayer line. And as soon as I laid hands on her, I said, in the name of Jesus, as soon as I said, in the name of Jesus, the baby jumps and comes alive inside her womb. Well, we went back to the States, and... Two weeks went by, and we get an email from the pastor of that church. She says, here's a, a picture of that baby. She had the baby, healthy baby boy, and she named him uh, Jeff Stacy. <laughs> named him me. I got, a, I got a baby named after me in, the, in Africa. And uh, it was absolutely wonderful. And her husband was not a believer. He's a believer now. Now, I want to pray for everyone that's watching this. And you have, if you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are a new creation in Christ. You are a new creature. And no matter what you've done in the past, everything, the blood covers everything. And now Jesus wants you to be like him. He wants you to operate in the things that he did. And get in the word of God. And as you read the gospels, don't see yourself as the victims, you know, like the woman with the issue of blood. You know, you may start there, but don't, you need to see, start seeing yourself as the one who's got the hem of the garment because Jesus Christ is inside of you. You start being people's answer. You start being people's deliverer. You start being people's heroes the way Jesus was in the Bible because he's our number one example who we're to be like, who we're to portray our lives after. So I want to pray for every one of you that if you'd start doing the things of Jesus, start believing God for what, believe the Bible for what it says. Don't go by what you experience to judge the Bible. You go by the Bible to judge your experiences. A lot of people, they change because they have negative experiences. And you may have some, but don't go by that. You stay by what the Word of God says, and you just keep doing it. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to move right now upon these people that's watching this video. And, Father, I speak boldness, the boldness of Jesus Christ upon them, that they will start healing the sick, they will start raising the dead, they will start casting out devils, that they will start healing the leper, getting the lepers cleansed, cleansed in Jesus' name, and they, they will be the men and women of God that you called them to be, the sons of God in Jesus' mighty name.